Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're starting a new game tonight. This is Death's Door. Made by Acid Nerve, the same folks behind Titan Souls, which we played many a year ago. Oh, like three or four at this point. That was a very fun game. Um, this one looks to also be quite a fun game. And unfortunately, we're just going to have to deal with the <laughs> the music being as loud as it is, because it is, it is at the lowest setting, and it still sounds extremely loud to me. So we're just going to have to deal for a little bit. Um, until I figured out how to not make it that way. Okay, so this is a this is an action RPG, I believe. I don't really know much about it other than that the art style is charming as hell just looking at the in title screen here. So let's let's get up into it. Let's start Death's Door. Um, I know we play as a crow. That much I do know, which is uh, very cute and fun. But let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Raping Commission Headquarters. Share in the bus driver. Ah, I get it. Is that a play on Charon? It's gotta be a play on Charon. It's gotta be, right? Alright, so there's us. There is a crow that is us. Okay, so we've got... Let's do a quick control check here. L to move. A looks like a dodge roll. X is attack. Y is nothing. B is nothing. Uh... Oh, we've got to look around. Uh, LB is nothing, RB is nothing, LT is apparently... Oh, aim. Okay. Uh, and RT is... Oh, a charge attack. Okay. Alright. Let's see what we can do with this, huh? Let's just have a... Let's have a walk around and probably not walk off the edge. I'm presuming that uh, green meter in the top is our health. Looks like we've only got four little bits of health. Let's not waste them. don't need to here. We are a pretty short-ass crow. We don't even reach up to the top of the bar here. I guess that makes sense. Crows are historically not very tall creatures. Oh, it's uh, talkable, huh? <coughs> Baga, apparently. Ain't got no souls, ain't got no shinies, ain't got no worries. <laughs> uh, okay, well, as long as you're being cheerful about it, it's, it's good. You do you, buddy. Stay safe out there. Thanks, man. He's looking out for us. What a bro, he's looking out for us. Hmm, that's cool, I don't see. I, I don't know what the point of a ceiling fan is in the uh, in open air outdoors here, but hey, whatever, who am I to? Let's take a look at this. Ticket office closed. Gone to fix a broken pipe? Back, <laughs> back in three to four years, holy shit. Okay, uh, must be one hell of a pipe. A little checkpoint here. Clear, move it along, but I'm, I, I'm clear? You didn't even, like, I've got this glowy red sword on my back and I'm clear, huh? Okay. But, <laughs> really? <laughs> and he's like, ah, whatever, fucking, ah, ball part, head of security, I get it. Good, good, good job, good reference. Hall of Doors, Reaping Commission Headquarters, okay. All right, what do we got here? Let me get moving. Don't want to be late, right? Uh, sure. Aw, oh, come on. I could totally just duck under that, like, normally waist-high thing. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see what we got around here. Let's, let's have a little explore. We got a big old statue. Uh, can't quite tell what that is. That's alright, though. like that might be a pathway back from somewhere. Oh, can we, uh, uh, can we slice that open with a charge attack? Nope. But that had a little blue squiggle. Yeah, see, there's the blue squiggle on it, so that's probably a destructible at some point. Well, well, well. Who showed up for work? No worms for me. Only the early bird catches. Ah, I get it. That's a bird joke. Lucky day. Actually, I have a soul for me to reap. And not just any soul, a giant soul. Forgot your training. Stay in town. Giant souls often don't, go, don't often go peacefully. Door for now. Okay. Oh, sick. Okay. 
So that size you might even be afford some time off, but remember, ooh. <coughs> door will remain open until you return with your designated soul. Okay. Doors open, you will be mortal and you will age, so get it done quickly. Oh, interesting. <coughs> so we can reap more souls. The cycle repeats forever. Right, race. Yeah. Jeez. Don't I know it. Get to it and be careful. If you die, it's going to be a lot of paperwork and I don't have the time. Yeah, you look like you're positively buried in work there, Chandler. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look around. We're in no rush. I love typing. Can't get enough of it. Oh, okay. Well, it's good to love what you do, I guess. Arvin the Vault Keeper is having a little snooze. Alright, won't bother him. Rules for Reapers. Reapers become mortal while any assignment remains incomplete and any of their doors remain open. Collected souls must be returned to the central vault. Mercury people will be rewarded and collected souls used to power infrastructure. No, you. Oh. Ooh, that hits a little differently nowadays, doesn't it? Oh, unionizing. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we'll see about that. Alright, I guess we should get to. We should go get to work, huh? Don't want to be mortal for too long. Oh, but what do we got up here? That's not near where we're supposed to be going. A giganto busted archway to somewhere, okay. <clears throat> what about over here? It's, it's, what's good over here? Another pathway to somewhere else. Oh, I see, it's just the stairs. We decided to take the elevator because we were, we were feeling lazy. Our crow legs are a little tired. Mm, okay, so I see a few things down there. Mayhaps we might be able to get to. Eventually. Oh. Pick up. We found a discarded umbrella. <laughs> Alright, equip it from the weapons menu. Wait, really? Wait, what? <laughs> well, it's probably not very useful in combat, but it will keep your feathers dry in bad weather. Oh, that's nice. Okay, it gives us stats on it. Damage 1, swings 3, range 2.5, swing 9.4. Half damage, but otherwise the same. Ah! That's adorable. That's adorable. But we probably want a sword instead. Yeah. It's probably more useful. <clears throat> we got up here that's clearly locked away from us here. Okay. You know, I almost bet that if we equip our parasol here, can we just kind of go, ah? <laughs> I was hoping we could uh, comically float down our umbrella like a proper little Mary Poppins of crow. But I guess not. Okay, well, we've got an umbrella. That's cool. Let's go out and uh, reap ourselves a soul, I guess. Grove of Spirits. Well, that's that's proper soul reaping territory, I tell you. Tap eight. Roll. Yep, we kind of already knew that. Next slash. Yep, of course. Oh, can we talk to this this person? No. Yeah. Oh, they're watching me. I don't know how I feel about them watching me. It's a little creepy. <coughs> get out of here. <laughs> I work alone. Get out of here. Oh, jeez. There's a lot of them. Okay. I don't know why they're... Hold LT to aim and B to charge my arrow. Bonk. Okay, I don't know if I want these dudes following me. If I'm gonna be reaping a soul, that might be a little bit too much for them to see. Eh, I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, they went away. Good. Good for them. Alright, so that takes me back to the door. Well, I got my soul to reap, though. Whoa, Jesus. That's a big ol' plant thing. Demonic horror spirit. Alright, is this the soul I gotta reap? I hope so. do our best here to not take a hit. Oh, well, okay, it's just contact damage there, I guess.
Oh, well. <laughs> okay. My supposition is that they expect me to either fuck this up or, uh... <laughs> ah, I see. Cut you down to size a little bit. Timber, maybe. There we go. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. There, good slice. Presumably we did it. <laughs> we have reaped us a soul, perhaps. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Soul steal, dude, that was my kill. My soul to be reaping. Oh, what a shitbag, whoever that was. Fucking just sucker punch this over the top of the head. Little shit. Alright, excuse me, flower friends. I gotta go. <laughs> gotta get my soul back. Hey, Omega Weapon, how you doing? Let's see. A plant boss and Titan Souls, too? I. You know, I don't know. It didn't look particularly familiar, although it has been a few years since I played that game. So I don't know, you might be right. You could be right. So, alright, so that jackass stole the soul that we rightfully claimed. That we worked very hard for, so we gotta go steal it back. I think. Or at least we gotta follow him and be like, hey. Although that guy was like ten times our size. There he is. Hey. Fuck face. I'll be with you in a second whilst I explore, but get back here. Give me that soul back. Also, I could use some health. I'm down to one little bit of health, which is a terrifying prospect. <coughs> Is there a stairway somewhere that we can go to? And that just kind of led us over here. It's just like... Oh, pick up. Alright, what the hell did I... A life seed, that's cool. <coughs> I'm using green pot and yield soul fruit, which can be consumed to restore your health. Okay, cool. <coughs> Let's go plant it, I guess. Right? Let's see. Inventory, weapons, shiny things. We've got no shiny things. Oh, here. Uh, plant. Oh, no, that's fire. That's not a green pot. <laughs> ah, ladder. You know, I'm a crow. Why don't I. Why don't I just fly? I'm a crow. Like, what the hell? I feel like I should just be flying, but. Eh, whatever. I guess we'll, we'll walk. We need to get our steps in for today, anyways. We'll just walk. This is very pretty, though. Alright, uh, friend? Oh, okay. <laughs> when he was not interactable in a non-violent way, I assume he's a foe. <clears throat> Where's a key? Well, no shit, there's a giant-ass fucking key symbol on it. Act him evade. Oh, there's a door? Okay, where does that go? Oh, this takes me back. Oh, cool, I can report that some idiot fucking cold cocked me and took away my soul that I earned. Uh, a glut of soul energy, you say, huh? Well, I don't think so, but we'll see. Oh, hey, we got our health back. That's good. Alright. <coughs> Increase your combat abilities. Uh, yes, please. Oh, I've only got 100... Soul points, apparently. Soul dollars. Soul currency. Uh, well, I can't fucking do anything with this, so I don't know why you called me down here. Like, thanks for nothing, boy. Don't tell me I got stuff to do with that when I don't have anything to do with it. I got too, too few of it. Alright, whatever. Hmm. Hey, we can grab this. What's this? Mass of soul energy. Okay, is that like a hundred or something? Yeah, that's like a hundred. A hundred, hundred soul points. Okay, that's unassailable for now. I see. So 
and each little each little kill of a trash mob is two more soul dollars there. <clears throat> just one soul dollar because they're the trashiest of trash mobs apparently. That one's only worth two. Okay. And a seed. Consume! Oh, that was probably a bad idea though because uh, we've already got the full health. Oh well. soul juices there, another 80 or so, and we'll be able to upgrade our shit. What does this say? <coughs> this way to the summit. Well, I'm not going to the summit just yet. We got places to explore. Like here. Although, maybe this is critical pass since it was locked and all. But hey, look at this, uh... mini-ass boss right there. Oh, wow, that was, that was tough. Yeah, wow, they really putting up a big old fight here, huh? kind of a... I mean, that's a good, like, real basic combat fight, right? It's a whole bunch of different enemies, different stuff you gotta do, but... It's kind of... It's kind of pretty lightweight... Lightweight combat there. Good, good try, everybody, but, you know, it's, you got your asses kicked by a tiny-ass crow, so... Good job. Ooh, what is this? Uh, Reaper, saying this world is over. Uh, no, I'm not here for you. I don't think I'm here for you? Like, can we just talk this out? I don't think I'm here for you. Ah, okay. <laughs> the harder attack, huh? Okay, well, I've got a charge attack, I guess. Nothing? No? <laughs> right, a bit of a run-up, huh? Oh, that was pretty neat. Well, unending life. Can't explain it. I'm told you're seeking an answer. It's dead home. A keeper of graves on the sacred mountain. You shall strengthen somehow. Feel free to try and kill me again. <laughs> okay. I like him. It's a good, 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 good dude. Steadhone? Steadhone, right? Steadhone. Ah, I get it. Instead of headstone, steadhone. All right. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, that makes sense. Good play on words. <coughs> Alrighty, the door preserver of order and a home to stray souls. Okay, cool. Let's see. Okay, the rolling slash is interesting. I hope eventually we get a map of some sort. Let's wait to the summit. Okay, that's where uh, What's-His-Nuts was headed. So that's good. 
but we want to not do the critical path just yet. We want to take our time and look around. Stranded sailor. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> well, I don't think we can get by whatever this is just yet, so all right. Simple structure has a twin. A hidden secret lies within. Okay. Good, good, good to know. Good to know. And it rhymes. Nice. Aha. Huh. More soul juice. Alright, now we've got enough for an upgrade, but we're not gonna turn tail and run back to that just yet. There's more we can do. <clears throat> Stead home. Door of some sort that we can probably unlock later. Ah, an open grave. This is gonna be for? Is it supposed to be mine? Symbolic of my grave? Eh. Alright, see you later, Stead Hone. Good chat. We'll be back, I'm sure. Alright, what to do there? Oh, okay. It's locked off so I don't do something stupid like roll off the edge. path under here, isn't there? Ah. Alright, we just need to get... Oh, this is blocked off. Uh, intriguing. Wait, can we, uh... No, that looks like a lever that wouldn't be affected by our bow. Okay. Alright, let's go back to where it said, you know, summit was this way. <clears throat> We're gonna have to get a bead on, uh, what, if any, secrety secrets there are so we know what to look out for. So we're going to spend plenty of time wandering around, looking for little bips and baps that might, uh, might lead to hidden paths and such. The path is over here, right? Yeah, there we go. Oh no, that was to the sailor. Stranded sailor, no, we don't want to go there. This maybe goes down this way. Ah, there we go. Push the lever, which Opens that back up. Okay, you know what? This is probably a good time to go trade in our soul juice for an upgrade, right? Now that we got 400 plus. <clears throat> Alright, Darwin buddy, let's see. Uh, strength. Increase the damage and reach. That's pretty neat. Dexterity. Speed and precision. Increase the speed at which melee attacks can be chained. Haste, speed, and grace of movement. Greater base speed, faster dodges, and less dodge cooldown. That's pretty neat. Magic. Increase the damage done with magic spells and ranged abilities. Gee. Uh, well. I mean, just, you know, basic strength up seems pretty good. Yeah. Let's do it. Alright, well, I'm just gonna trust that it was accurate saying that I've got better reach because this doesn't look particularly longer range, but hey. Mm. Ah, I see all the basic bitch enemies respawn now. That's fine, they weren't really that much of a hassle to get through anyways. <clears throat>
clearly this is going to be destructible eventually. Glowy, cracked blue neon wall there. Oh, hey, look at that. That looked a little bit secrety secrety, right? Hey, okay. Get down with this. Small perspective shifts and whatever. Pray at shrine. Sure, do it. I don't know what we're praying for or what we get, but. Ooh. Fancy. Do you shard from a vitality crystal? Collecting four will raise your vitality beyond its limits. Alright. Very good. Cool. Neat. Uh, Alright, so that'll be a new heart container eventually. But okay, all right, so there are secret paths and such that we should keep an eye on. Poke our little crow beak into various nooks and crannies, right? mob enemies are none too bright, which is fine, and it gives us a time to get up and do what we need to do, right? Alright, does it tell us how many little, yeah, we've got two little health seed things, right? I wonder if we should hold off on planting? Eh, maybe not. Ooh, God for this fucker. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Let's take a little swim, that's fine. a bit more involved of a fight, but not extremely difficult, regardless. Okay, I feel like there was another path down here we did not examine. Yeah, there's this big-ass door. Hmm, I see. There's another path over there that leads up here that we can't get to, okay.
gate there. Can't pop down to just yet. Okay, this is the lever from earlier, right? Yep, 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 okay. Ooh, fancy. It's a big old magic tiny castle thing. And it looks pissed. Guardian of the door. Alright, let's go. Whoa, hey. Whoa. Whoa, excuse me. Oh, that's a big old fuck off laser. Excuse me. Oh, ow. Ah, oh, it only does one pip of damage. All right. A little bit. Oh, ouch. Hit, I do melee, I get a get an arrow back. There you go, eat shit, idiot. Should probably not be around the building as it crumbles. <laughs> Fun little, presumably mid boss fight, right? Did we get any soul juice for that? Looks like we got like two hundo. Right, what do we got there? Summit, which is presumably where we should be headed, right? Or we could go to <coughs> Overgrown Ruins. No, we can't. I'm sure, it has something to do with that. We get an ability or an item or a weapon or whatever. back there. Okay. There's soul orb that we can't get up to, huh? Hmm. Yeah. Just can't quite do that yet. Hey, idiot, give me that soul orb back. I earned that. No, no, hey, 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 hey. Aww. That's mine. That's mine, you jackass. Give it back. Yeah, I don't care that you're ten times my size. I'll fight you. <laughs> eh, you're a reaper just like me. Well, that doesn't justify stealing from me, you piece of shit. I saw an invaded cache. It took many months to track it down. I discovered it somehow passed through this door. Inconceivable. <coughs> Do I know where we are? Yeah, we're in the spirit grove something. Whatever the title card said when we entered here. Ah, there we go. Title drop. We're at Death's Door, right? It's just a legend. Yeah, of course it is. So they want you to think, because you all know. As you know, all doors are powered by the energy of souls. Yeah, it's a truly monumental amount of power. Even this one can be forced open. The soul I stole from you was not enough. Oh great, so it was... So give it back then. If it's fucking worthless to you, just give it back. So I can go about my day. Hey Kenny, how you doing? Let's see. That our fates are very much intertwined now, Fledgling. Well, whose fucking fault is that? Don't bop somebody on the back of the head and take their soul. You jerk. Your assignment incomplete, your death is now an inevitability. Cool, you're dragging me down with you. Perfect. <laughs> Yeah, fortune is definitely fucking smiling upon us. 
Cursed land is hidden in the reaper somehow untouched by the laws of nature. You can see here the potential to vastly beyond their years, larger and more powerful, yada yada yada. Three such beings on these islands whose combined soul energy could grant us the power to wedge this door open. Well, that's very, very comforting. You sound very confident in the ability of that to happen. <sighs> North lives an old witch, obsessed with escaping the clutches of death to the north. And the force to the east, self-proclaimed king, was over the ruins of a flooded cathedral. Oh yeah, he's uh, doing pretty well for himself, ruling over ruins. And then top the mountain to the west, a beast of untold years, primal and vicious, with no want or desire. Okay, well then, let's just leave him be then. Really sorry to have entangled you, Fletcher. Well, sorry he doesn't bring my soul orb back, you piece of shit. Advanced here, my body grows weary. Oh well, gee, yeah. Not too weary to crack somebody in the back of the head, apparently. Math is your own now. Adventure into the wilds and reap those giant souls, or choose an action and serve the same fate as this old fool. Will you at least give me your big fuck off sword? Like, we'll call it even if I can have your sword. No, I don't need guidance. Go to the north. Okay. How about I just go through the death's door? Oh, no, it's floating. I can't reach it with my stubby little crow legs. Ugh. Dude, at least give me your sword. No? Okay. Fucking... Let me crack you in the back of the head once? Like, fair is fair, right? Eh, Alright, fine. We'll go north, I guess. Which direction is north? Do we have a compass? we have a map? We don't even have a map. But I guess we're going to the north. Which presumably is probably this way, considering it was a locked door and critical path and all that shit. Alright, what? This way to the Urn Witch's Mansion. Alright, that's to the north, so... We got this weird isometric tilt going on. Up and to the left is north, apparently. Um, but we don't want to do that yet. Let's, let's go explore. Let's go explore. Inspect. The door requires a key to open. Keyhole looks very old and rusted. Or, as a crow, I could just fucking fly over the door. No? Not a thing we can do? Okay. I guess that would make things a bit too easy if we were allowed to fly. Oh man, this would have been a good place for Secrety Secret back here. Oh well. Alright, so I guess we're not going here. We're gonna go follow the critical path. Push some levers. Uh, yeah, that's just the path on approach, alright. Uh, how many soul juices do we have? 210. That's not enough. It's not enough. Ooh, like the lighting effect. Oh, I see. This is where we were overlooking our, uh, our little path from... Oh, maybe not. Maybe not yet. Oh, hey, look at that. Easy soul juice. Right, we're probably gonna get, like, a, a, a fire sword or flame arrows or something to burn these webs away. That would be, that would be pretty standard, wouldn't it? Hmm. Okay. Let's maybe turn the lights on. Or are we gonna have to fire our arrow through a torch? And then it'll light on fire, and then we'll... No? Mm. Okay. I go through all the adventure game tropes as to how to burn a web away, right? Because of course we left our crow lighter at home, so... It's too late to go back and get it. Oh, look at this fucker. Oh, hey! Bonk! <laughs> Idiot. Oh, okay, he's not very... Not very strong, is he? Ah, I see. It's gonna light the other torch and then the door's gonna open. Hey, look at that. Amazing. Oh, I realized that was open. Okay. <clears throat>
Okay. Pretty neat so far. Breaking the hell out of various pottery and crates. Why not, I guess? They're not in my way at all, but you know what? Maybe they would be in my way later, so we may as well just get rid of them. What about bushes? No, we can't cut down the bushes. Those are too strong. Tree looks pretty dead. Can we just cut it down, put it out of its misery? No? Alright. Yeah, here. <clears throat> Burn your weapons and spread joy. Nah, I don't think I'll be doing that. But yeah, okay. Yeah, that's definitely telling me, hey. Shoot your arrow through this very conveniently placed torch. Light that shit up. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now we got stuff to do in the other area to, to make that happen. Let's see if it gets us back our, our arrows when we run dry. Maybe the Iron Witch's Mansion. Well, that's very, very nice to give me directions. Pretty sure we cannot swim. Feeling we get uh, some sort of hookshot-esque item and or weapon to get across that. Activate. Alright. Yeah, activate. Oh, okay. So now we've got... How many soul juices do we have? No, we're a little bit short. Now we got a quick way back. Are you the Urn Witch? No, apparently not. <clears throat> well, I don't know. You, this, you know, give me, give me your sword, and uh, I'll, I'll look the other way, buddy. Ah. I know. So I've been cursed with an unusual affliction. What? You got that pot on your head? Just take that pot off your head. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> Pot. <laughs> okay, very good. Pothead, all right. I guess that makes a lot of sense. The journey has reached an impasse. I've been able to overcome the obstacles ahead and unlock the iron gates. If you'd help me move on, I should be in WWE and we could push forward together. Uh. Sure, I guess? Sealed gates and the unlit lanterns. Yeah, I already figured that bit out. <clears throat> Literally just shoot an arrow through the torch and light the other thing. Can I, uh... I want to get through there to get those soul orbs, but it's not going to let me. For now, I guess. Ah, uh, but it's probably gonna blow up there. Hey, look at that. Ah, that's cool. Good leaf physics, though. <laughs> Garden of Peace. Yeah. Yeah, it's peaceful now. <laughs> oh.
Oh, well, it <laughs> doesn't matter. I'm just gonna get healed anyways. <laughs> All right. Well, now we know the purple pots do a do a tiny explode. We move one of them back here, maybe. No, I guess they're all exploded. Yeah. Maybe we can carry one back. It's like, ah, oh, most impressive, you, you did the thing that I didn't want to do. You fought all the dumb idiots. Why am I helping this guy again? I think it's just because his name is Pothead, right? That's, that's the motivation here. We'd do anything for Pothead. Garden of Joy. All right. Well, I mean, yeah. <coughs> oh, we got no seeds. Did we uh, did we miss one on the on the way here. Oh yeah, there's one over there that we didn't grab. Oh wait. Uh. Oh, I see. I see what they want me to do. Okay, we'll have to get that later. We need to go around and get to that little hedge maze thing. Go through there and get the seed and be ready. through here. Ha 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 ha. Look at that. Now, can we burn shit with this? Ah. Uh, I was hoping that would light the entire thing on fire. That would have been neat. Okay, we got ourselves our little plantable seed that we can go back and plant, I suppose. Just for grinsies. Uh, there's no way. Okay, I see. Yeah. one right here as well. Nice. 
You know what? We're not gonna bother going back to plant that one, honestly. We don't need to. Half health is enough health for anybody. There. We did it. We opened the gate for you, you lazy fuck. Alright, we're gonna have ourselves just a- Ah, oh, so we'll just have a little squat on the bench here. That's fine. <coughs> Alright, so he wasn't always a pothead. Presumably he was a flesh and blood head at some point. Unnaturally extended ears. She's old! Uh, the confront the old witch and request she undo her ceramic deed and restore you to her former hands himself. It's quite the looker, yeah, I'll take your word for it there, pothead. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> I don't want any soup from your weird pothead, pothead, come on. Uh, some projectiles can deflect with a swing of your sword. Yeah, I know. I figured that out already. Whoa. Ah! Oh, I see. <laughs> that was to teach me that very fact. Okay. Excellent. Oh, is he gonna burn to death now? Since he's on fire? Oh, that's sick. Eat shit. This is our first real, like, puzzly puzzle here. Family 2. Okay. Very good. Garden of Love. Okay, well, I don't want to destroy anything unnecessarily if that's... If there's gonna be, a, like, a little puzzly puzzle solution here. certainly is. Okay. We'll, we'll keep that in mind. We'll go back to it. Keep it in mind that it's there. How'd you get up there? Why do you get to jump and, and climb and shit? And I'm just a, like a weird tiny crow with stubby legs. <laughs> it's about you. Untold dangers are inside. Uh, yeah, I'll uh, be there in a hot second there, buddy. I got some places to look for first. Ooh, look at that shiny motherfucker. I want that. I want that first before we go do any more adventuring. Hmm, that guy looks mean. I'm sure we'll be fine, though. Combat thus far has been not particularly difficult. I'm sure this dude won't be much different. Oop. Oh, well. <laughs>
There. <laughs> yeah, not particularly threatening, was he? it. One little tiny fucker. <clears throat> okay. Still not too threatening. Wait, oh, lever. <laughs> hmm. Okay, good. This is getting me closer to the shiny thing we saw before. Like the arrows, do you think? Oh, maybe, but I gotta be faster on the draw than that. Do it. What do we get? <clears throat> Rogue daggers. Hell yeah. Cool. All right. Oh, fun. Quicker attacks. I like it. I was hoping it was some sort of utility item or something that would let us cross gaps or jump or fly or any number of other things. But, I'm glad we did the little detour to grab them, just in case. He'll guard the door. Okay, good. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's real dangerous out there. I killed all the idiots, so, uh, yeah, you got... Got uh, nothing to worry about there, pothead, but. Alright, whatever. Cool. Alright, head back and get another upgrade or something, right? Huh. Alright. Well, uh, where the heck are we? Ah, I see. Very good. Uh, how many soul juices do we have? Hey, we're a third of the way towards another one after this. Uh, let's go faster. Gotta go fast. Doesn't feel like we're that much faster. But okay, whatever. 
Oh wait, that's not the door we wanted. We wanted the other one, right? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. <sighs> oh, uh, alright. Guess that tracks. <laughs> okay. Talk to the weird door, the ancient door spirit. Letting Reaper. Hunger for souls. Well, don't we all, buddy? Don't we all? Requires a key. Yeah, of course it does. Oh, of course. Also requires a key. Jumping around. Bonk. gonna try to bop it into this thing, right? Eh? Try again. Eh, there we- aw, oh, didn't do- didn't do what I was expecting there. That's fine. Okay. That might be important later. Here. Or not. Uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> the wrong button combo going on. Alright, and key. One, parentheses, one key. the way they wanted me to do that? I guess. Or they wanted me to drop down on the other table from above. Either way, I suppose, right? Bonk. Yeah, but they wanted me to do this. Like, ah, yeah, then I can shoot the thing from up here. Oh, hey, that was sick. Got a little down slam for when we're airborne. Too bad we can't get airborne. Ah, I see, alright. I was, I was correct about the flame arrows being the thing to burn away the webs. Gee, what a surprise. Hey look, it's Pothead's grandfather. Mm. 
Ah, I see. Honk. And then I bet we can do this shot all the way from here. Well. Ah! Uh, probably just a little bit off on that one. Also a little bit off. Because I'm sure they want me to do it, like, to this one first, and then, yeah, whatever. Alright, fuck it. Predictable a little bit, but pretty neat regardless. Try there, buddy. <laughs> Good fucking try. You almost had me. Oh, hey, it's the soul of a different crow thing. <clears throat> He's coming to open the door. Really? I don't know. Well, the door's right there. It's hungering for souls, so there we go. We got it and soul. Looks like there's three more. Good job. Hey, I didn't even see that thing there. Woof. Jeez. Okay. I was expecting to see a crow around this place. I mean, the deal is off. I'd bring some doorbell like you into my little house. I don't know. I heard you were evil and or giant and I need giant souls and shit. That's about it. So do we, do we just... Do we have a fight or... Okay. Very good. We have a fight apparently later. Oh. Go. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Suddenly back to the hub area. Okay. Very good. Oh, bonk. Nothing if not thorough. Thank you. 
Let's see. Let me to burn the uh, burn the cobwebs off that ladder there, huh? Hmm. <laughs> like so. Battle. Oh, look out for that one. Ow, ow. where I was there for a second. Okay. Not particularly challenging there either. I just kind of tanked everything. Live forever with a pot for a head. All right, well, I mean, whatever does it for you, I guess. Apparently I didn't do it for that guy. Yeah, whatever, just get out of here. <laughs> just get, okay? You ain't fooling no one. I see a little... I think I see a little secrety secret there. Can we, uh... Can we get that somehow? Can we just kind of do a little shim-sham down here? Yay, look at that! Crow-like reflexes. For another 100 soul juice. That was quite hidden. It's a little tiny little bit of pink sticking out there. Good job on almost getting the secrety secret past me there. Still needs two more souls, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Naturally, naturally. Oh wait, uh, Pothead! I thought you were guarding the door. Ugh. Useless. there. Boy. Hope we'd ever figure that one out. Oh, shouldn't have done that one. <laughs> oh, excuse me, sir. <laughs> Hmm. 
Aha! <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. I cannot get there. Oh, I see. Reflections and shit, right? Honk, and then there's a door in this wall. Yeah, look at that. Clever. <clears throat> we get to a pink shard here. What do the pink ones do? Magic crystal. Here's your magic capacity. Oh, okay, I see. So our bow is considered magic, right? So we got four arrows. If we get a magic capacity up, then we get, uh, get more than that. Okay, okay. I get it, I get it. That tracks. That shit tracks right there. difficult there either. <laughs> I have a feeling most of these fights are going to be about endurance and me not doing incredibly stupid things. <laughs> okay. Three of four. Good job. here. Sure did. But I'm more interested in getting the uh, chandelier down there. Oh, 
talk. Yeah. The dance. Yeah, let's dance. Oh my god. Oh, sir. Okay. <laughs> uh, burned all of my projectiles on him already, so, uh... dance? Okay, yeah, easy peasy, dude. Um, but how do I get yon, uh, chandelier thing now? It is a mystery. It is a mystery. I mean, clearly I need to cut it down somehow, but how would one do such a thing? That is way the fuck up there. Oh, can I shoot an arrow from the ladder, perhaps? I mean, once I get an arrow back, I suppose? Oh, or I can just cut it down here. <laughs> that is also serviceable. Now, if I drop down here, will it kill me? Nope. Alright, very good. Excellent. Very good. I guess that tracks, doesn't it? It really does. Ooh, there's a little shiny thing over there, though. Oh! <laughs> Death! <laughs> okay, so what does that... What does that mean progress-wise? Looks like I still got all my soul juice and all my seeds and shit. I guess it just bops me back to, uh... To there. And everything else is considered completed. That's pretty good. Like, I can be... I can be down with that. I remember where I went to get, uh... Oops. To get back to where I was, though. Uh... It was this wing of the place, right? Yeah, it seems right. Yeah, because then we emerged from the hallway here, and we came down here. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> yep. Alright. So not too far back from where we were. That's good. That's a reasonable enough checkpoint. I can't be mad about that. It's funny, I just got bopped whilst I was staring at the shiny thing over there. Contemplating how to get it. Let's get shot in the back. Eh? What do we got here? Old engagement ring. Just need to find someone who would want to marry you. <laughs> is that just a shiny thing or is that. Yeah, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> long to the urn witch, a gift from her late husband, dates from a time long before you were even an egg. She may have had to remove it because of her constantly swelling body. Such are the risks of living beyond your years. Cautionary tale, if ever there was one. They just got vials of green goo up here. That seems a little bit ill-advised. So with the, the daggers, it takes more than one swipe for these tiny fuckers. I guess that tracks.
There, that seems kind of weird because I'm pretty sure we were supposed to burn this one. <coughs> okay. But okay, it's, this is potentially a secrety secret one over here from lighting everything. Hey, look at that. Nice. 100 extra soul juices. Does that do anything? Doesn't seem to. Alright. A little extra bit of things. Oh, hey, it's the last... last bird soul that we need, right? Alright, there's the last of the... souls we need to open said door. Maybe that other old gray crow dude was telling the truth about that big old door needing big old souls to do the thing, you know? Here, smash up all your beautiful urns. Oh, hey, your beautiful urns were giving me magic arrows things back, so I don't regret anything. I'm trying to help people. Instead of putting in my basement, there will be consequences. I might even have words with your employer. Oh. I don't even know who the fuck my employer is, so yeah, you go have words with them. <coughs> A lock for a head. Okay. Get out of here, fucker. <laughs> I'll take my chances with my employer, I suppose. Oh, hey. What's down here? Ah, it just takes me back. Oh, it's the little... Little friends from the first area. I guess we'll let, we'll let them take along. They weren't hurting me none. Alright, pothead. What do we got here? It unlocked. If only I had more complete understanding of doors. Yeah, you see that big ass knocker at the front there? Why don't you try that? Confession to make. I am really the uh yeah, yeah, that yeah, we we know, Pothead, we know, we know. Person in Ceramic Cream, this guy had effort to make me immortal. Well I guess it worked, you're immortal, right? I suppose that works. I mean do people with the uh, ceramics for craniums live forever? I Tracks, I suppose. Terribly, they replacing his head with an urn would somehow strike you from death's ledgers. However, resistant during the struggle, the spell must have gone awry. <clears throat> you have a pot for a head. Well, I mean, pot, vase, whatever. Same thing, right? Gone too far beyond you. The soul, soul, and grown crowd has seen it happen in this land many times. The Reaper implore you to end her suffering and bring her soul into the next life. Or she can find peace once again. Uh, you know, I was going to do that anyways, so uh, I'm glad you asked ask me to do it. You know what? Didn't want to you know, kill your grandma without, uh, without being asked, so thank you, Pothead. Very living Reaper. What? Be wary of what? Be wary of big, weird, glowing white doorways? Yeah, it seems like something we should be wary of. Oh. Alright. Where the fuck are we now? Oh, I see. We're back here. That door's not open. Ooh, big little gold chest. There's gotta be some fucking loot in there, right? Open. Open it. Give me give me whatever's whatever's in there. It's gotta be important. Doing the weird fucking 720 orbital sweep. Wow! Okay, it's a mimic. Okay, beware. Beware was uh, aptly placed. Ouch. <laughs> Ouchie. Oh. 
Ah. Oh, well, well. Whoop. I shouldn't have tried to go in for that last one, huh? <laughs> Try again? Yes, absolutely. Combat is simple enough that I think we've got this without really too much hassle. We just need to not, uh, not do a dumb... Oh, well. Like so. Ow! And like so. Oh! <laughs> Oops. Okay. Bonk. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Ooh, no. Well, I don't. How am I gonna? Is he just gonna eventually uh, run out of gas and explode on his own? Cause I got no projectiles to deal with. But... <coughs> there we go. Oh, well, okay. He's got some range on that, huh? <laughs> like I was saying before, it's probably going to be about endurance fights rather than, you know, actual proficiency, right? So, easy peasy.
first try. <laughs> We're, we're looking a little gray around the gills now after that one. <coughs> but we've done it. And we get... What do we get for our trouble there? A crown that goes around our entire body. Flame spell. Oh, that's neat. Okay. Fire arrows. Very good. Cool. So now we can light up these uh, things. We go. Wow, that's one hell of a flame spell. Holy shit, that's super good. All right, I can get behind that. I was hoping we could burn shit with it. Ah, I see though. Bonk. <laughs> yeah, good luck keeping me from the soul juice. Uh, now what, though? Can we, uh, just... Oh! <laughs> uh, how do we get back out of here, though? <laughs> oh, I see. We could have just gone like that. <laughs> Very good. Lots of soul juice. We can afford two little upgrades now. Appears to be a Reaper's abandoned logbook. In order to disconnect the series of open doors in the region around the recent anomalous energy surge. Appears to have been quite active with commission members assisting the witch with her research. Came through and was executed immediately, so I'm not sure what happened to the crows that were there. I mean, four of them died and their souls were trapped forever, so that's uh, not great. <clears throat> All doors have been sealed for now, and outstanding work orders in the region have been closed. It's strange to put my pay grade, and it's better not to ask questions. Boy, if that ain't a fucking mood. Don't ask questions. That's a hell of a fire spell, though. That's got some good pop to it. Oh, hold on. You've been exploring the old office departments. Yeah, sure. I used to work over in the east section where I embraced my true life and quit the rat race. Much happier now. It's one lovely, cozy office. Jeez. This game is full of fucking moods, isn't it? Oh, what's this dude doing over here? Finding a wealth of souls out there. Where are they coming from? I haven't seen so much soul energy in decades. In these centuries. I don't know. Fucking no, man. Just doing my gerb. My gerb. Alright, we got enough soul juice for a couple upgrades, and we should go uh, murder that witch, I guess. Uh, so of all, increase my combat abilities. Hell yeah, I want to increase my combat abilities. Uh, I don't really give a shit about... <clears throat> Magic, really. So let's go dexterity, and we'll get another strength, too. Six hundo? Ah, that sucks. All right, we'll wait. We'll, uh, build that shit up. All right, I guess, uh, back to the ceramic manor. I gotta go finish the job, right? Finish the job. Oh, I see. Now that we've got the flame stuff, we can go ahead and, and open the door. Got a key, which will get us into the basement, which the witch explicitly told us to, to, you know, don't do it. There'll be consequences or whatever. Weird wiggly text consequences. But you know what? Take my chances. Furnace Observation. So that's a weird name for a place. Conveyor belts, huh? I don't like the looks of that. Why does every game have to have conveyor belts? <coughs> oh, well, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Watch that first step. Whoopsie doopsie. Sure, that's a platform to get up there eventually at some point, right? Is there anything of value we can see? Not really. Oh. Ladder. Derp. Mm, 
Nothing to read, no fancy lore shit. What the hell's the point of coming up here tonight? Wouldn't just put this here for no reason, right? There's gotta be something. Ah! It's a fucking Super Mario Sunshine ass thing. All right, very good. We have learned. We have learned a thing. <coughs> Get some more soul juice for our trouble. Very good. Okay. Good info to have. I suppose my flame can go through that, can it? It cannot. Alright. Oh, wait, wait. Hold, hold, hold. <coughs> oh! <laughs> uh, wrong series of batons there. Don't... Oh, wait. Eh? Yeah, there we go. That's good stuff. Oh, those level 2 upgrades are going to cost 600 a pop. That's uh, unfortunate, but whatever. We'll make, we'll make it work. Just need more soul juice. Oh, hey, it's Pothead. Yeah, see you, buddy. Uh, enjoy your trip, I guess. I don't know where you're headed, but it seems like it's for the best. So we're going that way too, huh? Accidentally did a critical path. <laughs> Aren't you, Crowley? Aren't you still persevere? I'm sure that's sure that's admirable or stupid. Probably stupid, if we're being honest. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Probably stupid. Excuse me, I must have some alone time, some fear reading and glad here. Oh, no, pothead! Well, you pothead alone. Ah, I'm sure we'll catch up with him later. Seems like an important character. All right. Well, knowing this is critical path, let's uh, not go this way just yet. Literally, the non-critical path is just to get a seed. Okay, I guess. Not really much else we can do. Okay. Well, I think we backtracked. Didn't want to miss it. Actually, how many seeds? We got three seeds. All right. You read any of this? Can we burn it? Can't burn it. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, well, I've got enough for one upgrade at the very least, right? Inner furnace. Alright. That's where we gotta go back to. I don't know if we we're gonna have enough for a level 2 and a level 1 upgrade here, right? Not quite. Alright. Strength first. Go with that glass cannon build, right? Uh, does it tell me? It doesn't tell me what my overall damage is, only that it's x.8 and 6 swings, 0.35 swing time, 1.8 range, 
five range. All right, oh, well, that's fine. I like the, like the dagger so far. It's been suiting us pretty well. I see. Clearly, these are gonna raise up. Get us up there eventually, right? Yeah, seems the thing. Seems the thing to do. Yeah. Oh, I see. Now we've done did it. Alright, fire seems effective on slimes. got a kill. Oh boy, you've got a fucking mortar, you little piece of shit. Ouchie! Alright, can I do anything about that, or is it just gonna be, yeah, okay, it's just gonna be essentially escape from this shit. Be on our way, I guess, huh? He get a fucking mortar launcher. All I've got is this shit ass set of daggers and admittedly pretty cool fire magic. Alright, whatever. Checkpoints seem pretty generous here, so I'm not too too worried about shit going sideways. I don't know if that resets my soul juice count when I started the area, though. It seems like it might just sustain it. Ah, it does maintain the uh, furnaces being activated. That's pretty neat. I was the idiot that time. Yeah, come here. Yeah. Where are you gonna go, idiot? Aw. <laughs> yeah. Just try me, sucker. Ah. <laughs> uh, That's funny. That's what I get for mouthing off before the job is done. Okay, I was just about to say, I haven't been seeing any whole heal planting things in a while. There we go. Not that it terribly matters, honestly. Alright, can we 
gonna go against the grain on this? Is this gonna get us to... Is this gonna be a little secrety secret? I feel like it should be. Ah, oh, we can't get past that. That's burns right there. Oh, okay, easy. Aha, let's get us up here. Yeah, see, against the grain. Another little heel seed thing. Fucking dig this fire spell. It's like the arrows, but 100% better. <clears throat> Whoop, well. This penetrates multiple targets. Buddy. You're not the only one with projectile fire, you shithead. Gotcha. <laughs> something else, right? This has been a neat little sequence so far. <laughs> and climb over that. Nope. Well, <laughs> too far.
anything else back where this dude spawned in. <clears throat> Be a prime spot for a secrety secret, just saying. Eh? No, nothing? Aw, oh, come on. What a waste of a good spot. standard stuff. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't worry about that stuff. <laughs> See any point to not getting the health refills there, right? It's not like we're gonna be saving them for later. How are we doing on the old soldiers? Yeah, a little bit shy of a even a level one upgrade. <laughs> you little shits. <laughs> Listen here, you little shit. <laughs> oh, it's good. It's good stuff. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Listen here, you little shit. <laughs> uh. Oh, that's funny. That's good stuff, but yeah, I don't I don't uh I don't like her chances of surviving this. Pretty sure we'll be okay here.
Oh. <laughs> Ooh, wow, that was a uh, not an extremely difficult boss fight. <laughs> <laughs> pretty easy, pretty easy sight read, if I'm being honest here. Witch of Urn, Ceramic Sorceress, Earthenware Enchantress, Crockery Crow. <laughs> And, of course, Grandma. <laughs> really, the consumer endeavors to with death. Build her life fashion for magic, reanimation, potions, and pots. <laughs> Concluding she's now at peace. I heard her remember, it's very last respect. Yeah, whatever. She fucking attacked us unbidden, so you know what? Fuck her. Sorry about that, pothead, but uh, things needed to happen, you know? That's it, huh? Okay, good for us. Hot on our head. <laughs> Hooray, we did it. Can we get out of here now? Yeah, we can leave. All right, very good. We out. All right, well, where does this take us, though? Oh, just to here, okay. We did done do it. We got a giant soul to our pro name. Oh, well, there's the bus. Hope nobody needed to take the bus to anywhere. Hmm. Uh huh. Seems ominous. <laughs> uh, okay, the Lord of Doors. Very good. <laughs> World's best lore. <laughs> oh, Crow, hello there. How exactly did you get in here? I don't know, I opened the door and came on through. It's, you know, whatever. Ah. Hey, you should really put a lock on those doors, right? Why am I here? I don't know, fucking know. The door was open. <laughs> it's beaks. Nice. <laughs> Hell of a conversationalist, this Lord of Doors. Best amount of soul energy about me. Yeah, I've got enough for a combat upgrade or two. Is that why you're here? You've come seeking a reward. No, I just want to open that big ass door in the grove of sacred whatever so I can get my life back? I don't know. It all started when this old ass gray crow knocked me over the head and stole the soul that I was trying to reap, alright? That's how this goes. That's my life story so, so far. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. That's silly. It's silly and also very funny. Yeah, you have more important matters, like, uh... Oh, okay, like drinking tea or coffee from your world's best lord mug. You know what? That does seem pretty important, actually. I'll leave him to it. Ah, but he's watching us. He's watching us uh, try to open death's door there. I get it. I get it. Well, bonk. <laughs> it's the wrong one. I can't process that. I don't know. Fine. Fuck you, Chandler. And fucking... Yeah, you, you really fucking just works piling up. They got two of nine people working here, and yeah, the work's just up stacked to the walls, isn't it? Fucking a-hole. Never liked Chandler. Uh, so yeah, let's see, what do we got? Eight hundo, Jesus. Alright, well, yeah, let's haste. Uh, no, haste. Yeah, there we go. Now are we moving faster? Still, still doesn't feel like we're moving any faster. That haste one might be a little bunk. But all right, we did it. We cleared a, we cleared a major area, it seems. And in fact, now that we have the fire ability, we can go back to the first area and open some shit up, right? <clears throat> can we open some shit up here too? I mean, we did the one thing, right? 
if there's anything else. Okay, so we lit that up and opened that gate, and we got that thing that was there, and just generally had ourselves a good time. Seem like there's probably not anything else over here, right? But, that seems like a pretty good spot to call it for tonight. One major area down. Grove of Spirits, that's what it was called. One major area down, presumably two more to go. Right? And then we will have, uh... All the giant souls to open that store or whatever, right? And that might be that might be the end. Or maybe there's some super secrety stuff later. Who knows? <clears throat> Only got three of five weapons, one of let's see, six times four, twenty-four shiny things. And that'll be that, I suppose. Alright, well how about we call it there then for now? Progress will be saved and return to your last used door. All right, sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. All right, well, this is fun. This is a fun little, like, action RPG-ish thing. I like it. I like it so far. But that'll do it for tonight. Next stream will be Wednesday night, 7 p.m. CST. We'll be back here with Death's Door. Probably tackle another major area. It seems pretty consistently linear so far. Like, not a whole, uh... Not a whole heck of a lot to uh, split off and do unless we go revisit past areas and get some shit. Which we might do near the end. But for now, we'll follow the story and do that shit. But anyways, next to that is coming up Wednesday night, 7 p.m. CST. Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. CST is going to be Shmup Book Club. Strike Gunner STG or Pro Gear or G Darius. Uh, probably G Darius since we haven't picked that one up yet. And then this weekend will be a bit of a weird situation going on. Uh, Friday we're off, definitely. Saturday we're almost certainly off as well. Sunday, 7 p.m. CST, we'll see how the rest of the weekend goes, if we're going to have enough energy for that. But otherwise, then it'll be next week. Monday, 7 p.m. CST, we'll almost certainly be back with Death Door as well. Should be good times. Be good times for this little game. Having fun so far. But that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.